Hello. This video shows how to monitor response time to an MQTT broker with 10,000 active publishers. We are using the open source Node-RED flows published in our GitHub repository to measure and graph end-to-end -end latency between a publisher and a subscriber once a second for several brokers. This simulates the latency between your sensors that are publishing telemetry and your application that is consuming the telemetry. We are using the MIMIC MQTT simulator to deploy 10,000 publisher clients publishing to the message site broker on our intranet. When we turn the switch on, the first 2,000 publishers are starting. We'll time-lapse this process for brevity. Notice how we're graphing the number of active sensors sending the telemetry. The graphs show the latency for four brokers. Only the bottom line for the message site broker is being influenced with our active sensors. The others are purely for control, to make sure that our measuring and graphing is correct. In particular, the Mosquito line should be steady since it is doing nothing. The public broker graphs will be unpredictable. Notice how the blue message site line is mostly steady around 0 milliseconds. The white Mosquito line is steady around 50 milliseconds and should remain so for the duration of the experiment. If your application has real-time requirements, then response time is a vital parameter to monitor. Even if not, then response time degradation can point to problems in your setup, especially at high scale. As more sensors become active, the blue latency graph becomes more erratic. This is expected as the broker is doing more work. In this experiment, each sensor is only sending a small message every second, and you can see the messages per second at the bottom of the Mimic View graphical user interface. There are many variables that could impact the latency. The distance between sensors, brokers, and applications, the message profile, that is the average size of the payload and frequency of the messages, the QoS of the messages, the topic hierarchy being published to, the number of subscriber clients and their performance, the retention policy for messages, and many more. Only your particular requirements would tell whether the performance is acceptable for you. We'll play some catchy music while the rest of the sensors are activated. You can skip it to the end of this video to see how the response time behaves when all 10,000 sensors are running. Thanks for watching.